Miss Tyra Banks once said, Find your light. Where? Where's my light? There. Where's there? Up there. I meant my LED light, madam. Oh, they're right here. Ah, <sighs> finally. Let's talk about lighting today. So, I'm a natural kind of guy. Back in my day, I didn't have any budget for lights. If I wanted to shoot, I would do it after the sunrise or before the sunset, where there will still be a light source. That was the kind of photography that we did. But these days, there are plenty of affordable options for artificial lighting that can help you achieve really good results. Today, we're going to talk about a few of them. Yep, like this little one right here. My LED light is very affordable, versatile and battery operated. Most of the time, this is all I really need. Because of its size, I can hold it in one hand while holding the camera on the other. It's great as I can place and mount it on any surface. But if you're like me and often forget to charge the batteries, I sometimes resort to a more technologically advanced method. Right, and that will be? The lights on my phone, of course. If you find yourself in a situation where you really don't have a choice, your phone light can really come in handy. It's quick and easy. You only need to flash the light on the subject and take the shot. I've been surprised at the result more often than I can count. He's right actually, but if you are really serious about your photography, a dedicated camera flash is essential to help you with your shots. With the various power settings, the flash can add on that touch of light to ensure your photographs come out right. And you know what they say, once you get the motograph, it's time to feed the tummy. Who says that? Me, of course. I just did. Okay. Well, in this segment of Makan Time, we are very excited to try out Penang's nasi kanda at a place called Lion Clear. It's voted as the best nasi kanda in the country. Roll it. <laughs> 